Grande. Hey y'all, Sugar Maria Spiritual Homegirl, and I have not done a cuffing season video in a minute, maybe like three or four weeks. So I figured I was overdue to do so. So before I get started, I am doing the Spirit of Finance workshop with Huda Dury. She's a Texas Policy Elders Counselor. And we're going to be talking about the merge between the spirit world and the finance world and how to succeed using both of those elements when it comes to financial education and literacy. So um, half of the RSVPs are done. So <laughs> y'all might want to get y'all spot. It's on the 26th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's click the link in my bio for the event rights and please reserve your spots. It is RSVP only. Okay, so don't miss out. Please don't miss out. But um, I'm really excited about that. But going to the to the thing, I think it's very important when it comes to cuffing season or just in general, whether you're dating somebody for temporary or loss, whatever it is, make sure that whoever you're with loves you the way you deserve to be loved. And the reason why that is important is because is about knowing what you want in a partner and making sure that what the standard is that you've set for yourself is being met. And I think that people look at standards and things like that and boundaries as a way to control other people. And I think that's absolute bullshit. Um, this video is not something I'm going to be debating on because I said what I said and my view is what it is. Um, because people need to understand that they do not have to be in relationships to where they're not getting what they need from their partner. They don't have to accept mediocre bullshit behavior from the people that they're in relationships with. And I feel like with some of these videos that I make, and honestly, with a lot of videos I see on social media, people kind of get caught up in their own um, their own experiences. And they don't quite necessarily take the time to look at the message. They just kind of get triggered by whatever happened in their life. And then they want to get to Twitter finger and all the other stuff. I'm just telling y'all, that's not what this video is about. That's not, that's not what any of my videos were about. Um, it's taking at face value. Um, so yeah, so I just think that it's very important that whoever you're dealing with, that they know exactly how they need to love you. And I know that people say, oh, you just love, you shouldn't love with conditions. And I think that that's a nice way to say, fuck what you need in order to feel safe, stable, secure as a partner. Boo, boo, boo. I feel like when it comes to um, loving and other partners, you can't love your ex-boyfriend 10 years ago, five years ago, two years ago, your ex-girlfriend from, you know, college or your ex-girlfriend that you can't love everybody the same way. People are very different. We're very complex creatures. And I think that we have to remember to keep that in mind when we're dealing with folks. What may have worked for her don't work for me. What may have worked for him don't work for my, for my dude. You know what I'm saying? Like certain things just don't work. Like, you know what I'm saying? Certain things that may have worked back then may not work now. Whether it's because our minds were in a different place then, we are different incarnations of ourselves or versions of ourselves or that person, you know what I'm saying? Like some people just don't, some people like there's not a, there's not a one size fits all when it comes to love. Yes, there's kindness. Yes, there's respect. Yes, there's reciprocity to a degree, depending on how you get down. But in terms of just being like, okay, this person likes flowers. I'm going to give them flowers. Or this person likes to be given space when they're mad. I'm going to give them space. No, the conversation needs to be had to know who the, I'm working on cursing. My bad. I'm going to do a video on that too. Knowing who you are actually dealing with. And I think these conversations are not had because, like I said, we have sex with each other first and then we figure out whether we like you afterwards. We like you, but we don't know you. So people have sex with folks before they know them. And then all of a sudden, it's, oh, we figure it as we go. And it makes things complicated. So I think it's very important that before any of that happens, if you're able to do that, have the conversation. And if you're not, have the conversation now. Just so you can avoid any misunderstandings and miscommunications. But that's another cupping rule season, uh, cupping season rule that I wanted to tell y'all. Don't forget to sign up for Child Letter. It goes out on Mondays once a month. Um, I'm feeling really froggy lately, so I might end up putting it out um, a couple of ones this month because I did one last Monday. So if you missed out, sign up for the link in my bio as well and get that one as well. Spiritual Homegirl Podcast, everywhere you can get your podcast. So with that being said, have a good night. Peace.